Good morning, this is Andrew. This is uh, February 3rd, 2014. And in this short video, I'm going to talk about, actually, it comes all the time. I had this question posed to me several times over the weekend from uh, potential clients and clients. And the question really is this. What's more important, the trading system, the indicators, and then the really smart clients ask me, is it the trading psychology? What I'm going to answer to that is, you know, there's no magic system, there's no magic indicator, there's no magic anything. Success is really how you think. Because what's going to happen? And you have to be able to follow rules. And you have to build this trading plan. Because I'll give you an example like right now. Like in the stock market, <clears throat> I'm not, I don't have any buy signals. I don't have really sell signals. And I had one client a couple weeks ago who wanted to go short uh, Netflix. And he didn't have a set of rules. He just thought it was overvalued. And another another example is I had another client who actually got burned trying to short CMG. And I'll actually let me show you these charts. Hang on one second. The example is they don't really have these two potential clients. They didn't actually have a set of rules. Like with CMG, they wanted to sell it. They thought it started to turn down. They sold it around here-ish. And, you know, things don't seem to work out all the time. And they lost a lot of money where it gapped up. First of all, short selling is really tough. That's one thing. And they, especially when you don't have a plan, it makes it even worse. Here, let me show you Netflix. Pretty much the same story. And um, <clears throat> so when you're trying to trade, it isn't just about this magical system or magical indicator. Because that's not what's going to make you succeeding. Actually, this you know situations like this, they're very debilitating, mentally debilitating. So you need to have a set of rules to follow. So what I always tell people, it's really not the the um, how do I say it, the the magical system or the magical indicator which too many people spend time on, as opposed to thinking and building a trading methodology or a trading plan. And that's what I really do. I have, you know, my books, which you can pick up on Amazon, or I have the one-on-one -on -one mentoring, or actually this is becoming very, very popular, this hourly consulting. And really what I can do, and what I do do, is I help you build your trading plan and systems, and even more importantly, the psychology. What do I mean by the psychology? Let me show you what I mean. Again, I do automated systems. I also do this, some discretionary, where I look at patterns. But when you look at something like this, here you have a loss, another loss, another loss, another loss, another loss. I don't care how good the system is. You're always going to have trades that don't work. And really, the key or what you're really trying to do is keep these small. Like this is a $300,000 account. So let's say I'm losing 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 of my account size. And I'm available. And then, you know, you, this, this is what really trading is. You stumble onto some other trade. It isn't like you know anything, and you have to be consistent and stay with it. And that's what I'm talking about trading psychology. Knowing what to expect and then to accept it. Because you're going to have series, long series of trades again. One, two, three, four. And these long series of trades, they can go on for long periods of time. Let's say here, this one, let's see how long it is. This is going on for, um, and again, this is a system that I trade in my money management. <clears throat> it's um, for commodities. Again, past performance is not indicative of future performance. And I have to tell you the truth, the last couple of years have been extremely difficult with trading. Some of the most difficult environment that I've ever gone through as far as drawdowns and duration of drawdowns. But here you are, I can say from February of 2010, all of these trades didn't work. And then you, bing, then you stumble onto something here. So I'm on to another one. But really, if you look at any period here, here, this is nice and ugly. Nice big loss, big loss, big loss, big loss. But not really big, I mean, percentage-wise. But, I mean, if you look at the dollars, it's kind of hurtful. But if you look at the percentages, you try to keep them small. But they seem to be endless. And then, look at that. You stumble onto something. This is what trading is all about. And if you even look at this, when you do this, the idea is to build a system that you keep your losses small. You try to. But again, it's not perfect because things can gap up against you. They will gap up against you. Like I showed you in Netflix or, or Chip Alita, but in commodities as well, they'll gap up against you. 
But then you kind of stumble onto some big trades that, you know, when you least expect them. And they're rare. I remember this. Actually, I was on vacation with my family with cotton. And these big trades, these big outliers, are the ones that make your trading. Again, none of this is easy. And that's why I have the site, Trend Following Mentor, is to help you. I do hourly consulting. And again, the focus is you tell me what you need. But I'm going to tell you, most people, they don't even realize that they need the, I, I'd almost say it's like an injection of mental fortitude when trading. And it's the psychology is one of the most important issues for, for successful trading. None of this is get rich quick. If you, you know, let's say you develop a system or even, well, I don't even want to say you buy a system. But the thing is when you develop a system that matches your personality and your time frame, don't expect it to be perfect. It's going to have drawdowns. It's going to have losses. But if you encompass the correct trading psychology and know what to expect, you have a better shot of, of compounding money over long periods of time. And really, this is what the goal has been for me and for my teaching. Again, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. You can reach me at my email. You can reach me, preferably email, because I'm really busy during the day. And I um, about two weeks out from now is when I have some openings for the hourly consulting because I trade full time. And I don't sit in front of a screen. I try not to sit in front of a screen and watch because it's kind of debilitating. And I talk to traders. That's really what helps me become a better trader. Again, thank you. This is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor.